This is a slightly different context for me, I must say. It's wonderful to be here tonight. It's wonderful to be here for Shirts Across America. St. Joseph is uh, the parish in which Shirts was born, and I'm very proud to be associated with that birth. I believe in Shirts Across America and went to New Orleans with the community uh, last year to be part of this celebration, to be part of this work, to be part of this grace and gift, which is Shirts Across America. It is easy, I think, for us to think that uh, the problems in New Orleans were caused by a storm. And in truth, many, many people were driven from New Orleans by the power of nature. But 100,000 people still remain outside of New Orleans, driven from their home, not by nature, but by choice. By the choice of people to not respond, to not stand up, to not care. Shirts Across America has chosen to do something else. And the people, many of whom are in this room and many of whom have come from this community, have chosen to do something else, to stand up and to help rebuild those homes, to stand with the poor who are so often forgotten in our society, to stand with people of color who are unseen so often. We are told on the press that, that the city of New Orleans is renewed and restored because the commercial centers are rebuilt. But in fact, where the poor people live, where the people who had been driven from the Ninth Ward and other areas, St. Bernard Parish and other areas have been, remain outside the city, remain driven out. It is, it is part of our, our blindness that we do not yet see that as a, as a country and as a people. But we are invited to see. And Shirts Across America calls us to see, to see with new eyes, to let the greatness in our hearts pour out. So I could go on and on, people who know me know that. But I just want to take a moment and invite us to, as we begin tonight, to open our hearts in prayer, to open our hearts to the presence of God who is among us and who unites us to the people of New Orleans. And so I invite you to, to open your hearts at this moment, to place yourself in that presence, and to imagine the scene. They stand beside the river, swollen with rain, muddy with the silt of farms, and smelling of life and death of yesterday and tomorrow. The young man, his feet bare, wades into the waters as the crowd, unmoving, watches from the shore. Then down he goes, beneath the waters, disappearing amid silt and splash. And for a moment, he is gone. And then again he rises, sodden, but not yet overcome. He ascends out of the flood and spirit and power descend upon his poverty. Consecrate his charity, mission him beloved for the resurrection of the world. The poor you will always have with you, cries out the Savior. They are not conquered by flood, nor will their spirits drown amid forgetful hearts, but they will rise and rise and rise beside that muddy water of death to that unconquered promise of resurrection that we profess forever and ever. Amen. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.